So have you played any good children's games lately? Hey friends, it's Pastor Mike from Fellowship Church. Always love to connect with you midweek. Hope you're having a good week. Hope you're staying warm in the midst of this little cool spell. Fall is certainly here. Hope you know that we love you and we're praying for you. That question for you again, have you played any good children's games lately? Now, if you have small children in your home, grandchildren, whatever that may be, there may be some board games or other games that you've become accustomed to playing with your children. But friends, one of the oldest children's games that we know of is a game called Simon Says. That game actually dates way back to the Roman Empire. It's played in countries all around the world. Maybe it's so popular because the game is so simple. In the game of Simon Says, you really just need a few people. One person gets to be appointed as Simon. And then Simon gets to give commands to people, to the other people playing the game. And when Simon gives a command, Simon is supposed to say something like, Simon says, touch your nose. And if Simon says, touch your nose, well, the other participants all touch their nose. If Simon says, jump high, well, then the participants say, jump high. If Simon says, take a step backward, you take a step backward. But then, if Simon simply says, take a step forward, you're waiting to see who missed that idea of the Simon Says, right? Because the game all hinges on whether or not Simon says to do something. And when Simon says to do something, well, you get to continue participating in the game by doing what Simon says. And if you don't, well, you're out of the game and somebody else gets to play. It's that simple. So what in the world would that have to do with following Jesus or knowing more about God or the life of discipleship? Well. In John chapter 14, Jesus is with his disciples. He's really the last night of Jesus' life. I think some of his most important teachings, the things that he wanted the disciples to remember the most, the last thing said. And in the course of that conversation, he said to them, if you love me, you'll do what I command. It's really just that simple. He says, if you love me, you'll do what I command. So Jesus is connecting love with obedience, that is, if you really love me, if you're really committed to me, if you're committed to this life, if you believe that I am who I am, if you love me, then you'll do what I command. So Jesus is connecting lifestyle to belief. I like that a lot. Think again about what he said. If you love me, you'll obey me. You'll do what I command. In effect, Jesus was playing a game of Simon Says with his disciples. What he's saying is, Jesus says, do these things. And Jesus said, if you do these things, I'll know for sure that you love me, but don't tell me that you love me and then choose not to do the things that I've called you to do. Let me say it this way. If you're a parent and you said to your child, I want you to go clean your room, you really wouldn't want your child to come back two hours later and say, dad, mom, I've been thinking for the last hour about cleaning my room. I want you to know I've memorized everything you said to me. Well, yeah, but did you clean your room? No. No, but I did memorize everything you said to me. You wouldn't want your kids to come back and say, you know, I got my friends together and we talked about this for a good hour or so. And we all think this is something that we should discuss more in the future. No, no, no. If you say, I want you to clean your room, well, you want you to clean the room. And here's what Jesus says sometimes. He gives us commands. And then we spend hours memorizing it or maybe even discussing it with other people. What we don't do is just obey his commands and follow through on what Jesus told us to do. So I wonder if you're still playing children's games with Jesus or if you've really come to a place in your life where you would say, not only do I love him, I believe that he is who he said he is. I love him. I'm connected to him. I'm following him, but I'm willing to do what he commanded me to do as well, even when it's hard. You still playing children's games or are you following Jesus with all your heart, soul, mind and strength? Friends, I certainly hope it's the latter. May you be following Jesus really well this week. I hope you know that, of course, we continue to love you. We're praying for you. We're praying not only for your beliefs, but for your obedience as well. Hope you have a wonderful week. Take care. God bless. See you soon. Bye-bye.